I it, I, I just it. started it, so it might. Yeah, but I should be able to find your channel, shouldn't I? Yeah. I feel Here. like I should. <laughs> yeah, so Ninja Pro Killer 01 and then plays. Uh, Ninja Pro Killer 01 plays. Search. No spaces, right? There's a space in between the 01 and then plays. Oh, maybe that's it. Hello, whoever's oh, yeah, up in are. here. Give me one second gotcha. to pull my stream up. Oh, hi, Brady. How's it going? How about you? Okay, I posted my Discord, so maybe you'll get a few people. Thanks. Um, oh, okay. So, uh, generally, what I'd like to do is just talk, you know, before we before we play any duos, since I want to sort of go over your controls and what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, so let's just go into creative. Or let's do. We'll do playground, but I'm gonna put in no fill. Um, so we can actually try Hello. landing at a spot that you might normally land at. Hi, Star Marine. <laughs> hey, Star. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where's your favorite place to land? Oh. Ah, uh, salty, typically. Salty? Okay. Why salty? That, I feel like just so many people land there. It's got to go spot. need to shower. Okay, so you like hot jobs? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. That's um, good, Brady. Have a good day. So the third, first thing I want to do then is I want to go ahead and like go into Dusty Divot here mm -hmm. and go as if we're landing salty, and I'm just gonna watch your land and just do what you normally do, just so I can observe you for like the first two minutes or so. Um, yeah. And then then we'll we'll have a chat afterwards. So go ahead and go in and like you're going to salty, and I'm just gonna watch. Feel free to vocalize what you're doing or what you're trying to do and Mom is good coach. Yeah, I don't know. I kinda just I beefed that I was reading chat. Sorry. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Normally I land on the ceilings and if someone's there I'll pickaxe them and take the guns. What not? Okay. So, which house is you normally go to this blue half, house roof? Uh, no, typically, I'll typically land in any house that's open, whatever's closest. Okay, just keep doing what you normally do. Let's go ahead and talk about a few things. Um, so let's just start off. What's your loadout right now? 
Um, I've got a green drum gr gun, the gray SMG, green pump, whatever this is. I can't, it's, my screen's so small. And then I got a blue sniper. Okay. And, um, how many mats? I'm at 700 wood, 30 brick, and then 100 something okay. metal. Yeah, that's obviously much higher because we're in playground yeah. right now. Um, so let's just first talk about a couple of settings. Uh, do you have auto pickup on? No. It looked like you did not. Uh, the no. first thing I'm going to suggest is that you actually do put auto pickup on. Um, you're wasting valuable seconds by picking stuff up in the beginning, uh, and instead it would be far more efficient to learn just how to quickly switch between items on the ground um, than having to have manually pick up everything. Uh, so the first suggestion I make is just some control suggestions. So the mm -hmm. first thing I would have you do is put on auto pickup. So if you go to, and you can set everything back if you don't like it, but I've never encountered anyone who doesn't like the at least basic suggestions I make. Um, yeah. So under control options, uh, I would have auto pickup on. Uh, the other thing that's going to be um, three from the bottom or four from the bottom under uh control options and then right under that is oh, auto sort oh, consumables shoot. to the right yeah take your time god everything is so small on my screen I'm on like a computer monitor so uh, no worries that's actually good it's good that you're on a computer monitor yeah I got a gaming PC too so Oh nice. Are you playing yeah. on that or are you sticking No, with PS4? PS4. PS4. Um <laughs> I I would do it on the PC but I don't have like a capture card so Oh okay. I'm trying to find this. Yeah, so if uh if you click on the cog button, go all the way to the left. It's nice that you're streaming. It actually helps me a lot. Um uh it's the one next to the sun. And oh pull that up again this one yeah so it's not in the same place for you so oh yeah can you scroll down no under the cog still but you need to scroll down yeah keep going no uh, you're on the volume so go over left left trigger yep and then keep going down go like almost all the way to the bum Keep going, keep going down, 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 down. It goes much further than that. I don't know how much of a delay you have. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah, we're gonna change a couple of things on here uh, that I I think are gonna help you right away. Uh, so if you go up and you go to that auto sort consumables to the right, I would turn that on. Lim uh, two up from the control edit hold timer. Auto sort consumables to right. Um, now, what this is going to do is whenever you pick up shield or bandages or any healing item, it's automatically going to put it in the in the right hand side of your inventory bar. Uh, what this is going to let you do is sort of always know where you have to go for those items in your inventory because you're going to take the next one up, auto pick up weapons, and you're going to turn that on. Um, it's going to take a little bit of adjusting because at first I was like, when I did this, I was really shocked that like, oh my gosh, I have all this stuff in my inventory, I have to move around. But it's a lot easier to move stuff around than waste those seconds uh, getting the gun. Also, if you're in like, uh, you land at the same time as someone at a location, if you have auto pick up weapons on, it's going to automatically give you that weapon generally 90% of the time before that other person can pick it up. So having auto pick up weapons makes it far more likely for you get the gun before Does that make sense yeah okay so auto pick up weapons and auto sort it's going to take you a few minutes to like sort of get used to it but i think it's going to make a huge difference for you uh the next thing i'd want you to change if you scroll up there's going to be some a uh, bar called hud scale so if you keep going up
Yeah, so your HUD scale right now is 1.02. Um, I have mine at 0.6, but why don't you go ahead and try and set it at 0.7. And then uh, we'll exit down and I'll show you what it's gonna be. Seven. Um, see if this works for you. <laughs> yeah, 0.7, there you go, perfect. All right, go ahead and apply these settings and come back out and you'll, you're gonna see a difference right away. So what you're going to see is uh, at the bottom of your screen where your shield and health normally is, as well as your weapons, that's going to be much smaller. So yep. you said that you're on a small screen. Um, mm -hmm. The size that they were and the size of the map and all the, the mats and all that is already blocking when it's at like one point, whatever you had it, is blocking a lot of your visual range. And so you're not able to see as many things as you normally would. Ideally, you want to get it even smaller this but it depends it's whatever's most comfortable yeah for me 0. 0.6 is good looking at your stream 0. 0.7 looks okay but i don't know the size of your screen so you just want to make sure that you can still read all that and it's still useful for you but you mm -hmm. want to get that smaller so you have a bigger visual range to target people Make yeah sense? yeah okay. okay cool um other settings uh let's see um, let's just start with those. We'll start with those and then um, we'll from, from there. Okay. Oh, yeah. actually, go ahead and go to your go to your visuals for me. Um, the uh, the um, the very first button in your settings, like it looks like a screen. Okay. Oh, it doesn't let you adjust your screen. It looks like. Okay, that's fine. That's good, actually, because like mine, Penny I can like set view distance and stuff like that. Um, so you know, I wouldn't want it crazy for you. Aiden okay. Rigglesworth said, "Say hi for you." Hey, Aiden. <laughs> hey, Aiden. I'm streaming at six tonight. I'll see you later, Aiden. <laughs> okay, so um, great. Uh, so I think those just starting off will help you a lot. Um, the next thing I want to talk to you about is just like decisions on where to go right so you said that you normally land on the roof and that isn't always the best decision for instance mm -hmm. in this building landing on the roof uh makes you there's there's fewer paths that get you chests and floor drops faster you have to do a lot of breaking in the blue house to get to chests and floor drops but if you're gonna land salty and you like roofs let me give you an example over here um i like to land on this roof here's why um if I land on this roof and say I was to land right here, I'd immediately be exposed to a chest. Or if I landed right here, I'd immediately get a gun spawn. So normally what I do is I land right here because you will I can be a pro hear player if this when chest is there, coaching. and I can hear if this chest is there. And so right away I have choices, right? So if that chest isn't there, I know I can get to this chest. And if that chest isn't there, I am going to have a floor spawn right here generally. So if there's one floor spawn, chest, chest. And so landing and immediately getting a weapon is going to be like really, really super important. And with your current land on top of the blue roof, there's only really one chest spawn and a couple of floor spawns when you drop immediately. And that's going to be highly contested and you're less likely to get um, mass and weapons right away. So if you're dedicated to a roof, I'd suggest moving um, if not, when I land at the blue house, I land at the front door. Um, mm -hmm. Here, let me just show you how I would path through this house. So normally if I was going to path through this house, I would do it like this. The reason why is I land here rather mm -hmm. than there, because by the time that I am in here, that's when the people in that house are ready. But going here, I have coverage from everything else, right? So it's about like defensible positions. Mm -hmm. So coming here, I had a defensible position. I shouldn't be shot, and now I have a gun out. Then I normally come down here because now I'm only open to that building, but there's all these trees covering me. So again, it's more of a defensible position. I get these, and then rather than doing anything crazy, I'm going to go through here. Again, no one should be over there at this stage in the game, right? So I'm coming over here. I check for the gun drop that is here. And then I see this. See, what I'm doing at this point, shotguns were already in my inventory because I had auto pickup on. Mm -hmm. And so I just, like, press for me. It's press E. It's whatever's going to be your swap button. But one mm -hmm. thing I would suggest is actually just practice swapping. So when I first got this, here, come down here. 
when I first put on auto um, auto pickup on, one thing that I practice doing is with a full inventory. Grab something else. So my inventory. I just practice swapping. I like honestly, I spent like 10, 20 minutes just swapping, like just practice like my run swap. Um, that way, I got used to putting things where I wanted to put them very mm -hmm. quickly. So just try and just an, a full run swap, so you don't actually have to stop and pick up that gun. Good, and then run back and do it again. Um, so one thing I did notice is in the beginning there was a lot of stopping or sort of hesitation when you're thinking about where am I going to put this, how am I going to pick pick it up, and so just those cleaner movements will make such a big difference for you. Um, but it, you you already have that really clean. Just don't forget you don't want to stop moving, right? You just mm -hmm. don't. yeah. Okay. So going back to talking about how I'm looting this house, at this point, this wall wouldn't be open, right? So yeah. I'm completely covered still. I'm breaking furniture. I saw you breaking furniture. That was good. Um, and then I normally, like, I did a quick peek. I, what I did there is I did a quick peek just to see if there's not anything in the kitchen because there's normally a floor drop here. I saw that there was nothing, but I also heard the chest below. And so then I go to this floor drop, and rather than going down the stairs, at this point, I actually just break through the floor. Because I'm getting coverage and I'm getting myself to that chest fast because I knew that chest was here. And I'm prioritizing the chest because I'm still low mats. Then I could get this floor drop or this floor drop and get out. Um, so that's like a more efficient run of this house, right? Immediately I'm with two chests and a floor drop in case I'm contested. I get coverage all the way through. I've now moved into this house and got to other floor drops and chests. And no doors have ever been opened, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so at this point, no one's even sure whether or not I'm here, unless they viewed from that side. So there's going to be far fewer people than the houses are. Um, so what that's giving me an advantage because I know where people are. Does that makes sense. You're breaking out a little bit there, but yeah. Oh, yeah, just competitive advantage because the idea is I don't want people to know where I am before I know where they are. Um, information tends to be more important. So yeah, just so... real quick, like, knowledge check. If you needed mats here, what would be should be the first thing that you break in Salty if you're looking for mats? Uh, typically what I would do is if I'm inside a house, I would do, like, furniture and stuff. If I'm yeah. outside, I'd probably do, like, bushes. And then yeah. maybe some trees if there's not really too many yeah. people hanging out. So fences, fences are going to be the biggest thing in Salty. The mm -hmm. reason why is these fences are going to give you a lot of mats for very little effort. It's only two hits to break them, um, and you can collect up like really high on fences right away. So I would prioritize fences over trees, over bushes. Um, the fences are going to give you mats right away. And while we're still in playground, and I think, you know, honestly, it looks like you have a lot of good sort of base skill, knowledge, etc. So you said you need a lot of coaching. I don't know if it's going to need to be a lot. <laughs> um, let's just, yeah. uh, let's see your building real quick. So um, let's just pretend that I am an enemy. Do you have a shotgun yet? Uh, yeah, I got this. Okay, cool. I'll hold that then. Um, let's just pretend you stay there and let's pretend... I'm an enemy, and I just want to see what you naturally do when you see me. So, say that mm -hmm. you're rotating out of salty. Mm -hmm. um, let's have you rotating. Maybe you're rotating out of salty to dusty divot. Um, go ahead and just pretend that you're rotating out of salty to dusty divot. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to drop on you as if I'm coming from here. And I want to just see what natural reaction Okay, wall, good, wall ramp, perfect. Yeah, already, those are If I could good. get in it, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so that, that's, yeah. <laughs> but you have the right, right. that's the right instinct. A lot of people yeah. just stand flat-footed, or they don't understand to, to put the ball, so that's that's a good in Um. So let's go ahead and just, like, do a little mock fight again, so I can just see your builds a little bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to run at you, and I'm going to try and pop you with shots whenever I can. Mm -hmm. Um. And if you're able to get a free shot on me, go ahead and do it too. We're not going to damage each other, but at least this way we can see whether or not you're able to do it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I have high ground now, right? Yeah. Okay, good. 
I don't know what I'm doing now. Okay. There That's we go. Okay. I'm messing up. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, no, no, no. Put the wall back up. Edit your way out. You gave up high ground. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. What do you think you should do? Yeah, that is the right move. Where are you if I can do? figure out. God, I hate editing. It's fine. All right, so um, it was my floor. Yeah. But you should have been able to edit it too. Um, so getting faster edits, you probably know that you're gonna have to do that, right? Yeah. So. Let go. me show you a little edit course I make for myself. Um, so I think you have the right instincts. Uh, there's a couple of things that right away, you know, I th I'd like to sort of correct. The first is we're going to have to talk about editing. The yeah. second, though, is giving high ground, right? So when mm -hmm. I was below you, your first thought was, well, I'm going to come back down and just sh on the face. But giving up your high ground is a no. Okay? Mm hm. You know why? Why is it? Uh. Puts you at a you disadvantage. On edit some. I have yeah, some why? Edit course what, what is the disadvantage when edits. I have high ground and you don't? Because so if you have high ground, it's easier for you to have cover, and if I'm low, it's harder for me to have cover. True. It also changes the size of our hit boxes. Your hit box becomes bigger. My hit box becomes smaller. Your head's hit box becomes the main uh, place I can hit, whereas mm -hmm. mine becomes small. And so uh, having that high ground really. So there's a lot of editing courses. Um, but I know a lot of people don't get it in course. Feel like they're doing work. One little thing that I'll do just to, like warm up. I build myself. Uh, it's fairly simple. Normally you want it to be on flat ground, so like I'll go in creative and do it. But I'll just do it here real quick so you can just see. Um, and it takes like all of like one minute to build it, so it's not. Um, a big deal. So basically just edit through the walls? Uh, you'll see in just one second. Let me just get the whole thing built for you. So if you just like build this structure for yourself, and all it is right now, here let me re-edit everything so we're good to go. And just go to the beginning of the tunnel. And if you just spent even like just 10 minutes a day doing this, it's really going to help you out. So. Um, what we have here is just going to be a tunnel and a ramp. And so we'll go slow at first, right? So at mm -hmm. first, to go slow, go ahead and edit this wall as if you're going through it for me. Oh. Okay, come back out. So we're never going to make doors. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is we're going to just take half the wall. Mm -hmm. Whether it's that half, or this half, or this half, I don't care. Just take half the wall. Uh, here's the reason why we don't do doors. Good, good. Here's the reason why we don't do doors is it might be a quick edit, then you have to walk through. And that's mm -hmm. another button you have to press, another movement that slows you down. Um, with half walls, eventually you'll be able to do this so that you can do the half wall without stopping running. If you do a door, it will literally be impossible because you will have to stop to open the door. Mm -hmm. um, 
It's just the amount of time to create it and open the door, you won't be able to do it while moving. And so our goal at the end is that eventually you'll be able to run through this course without stopping running, without stopping your forward motion. Do you have auto sprint on, by the way? No, uh, no. All right, set it on. Let's go back to our settings. There's no reason to not have auto sprint on. It really should just be the default. Go to settings, auto sprint. Sprint by default. Under control options, so it's that cog again. Down and then options. It's right under toggle sprint. No, 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 back to that cog, all the way to the left. Yep, and just uh, scroll on down, or button on down. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. There it is. Up, up. It's uh, near the top of that section under toggle sprint. It's sprint by default. Sprint by default should be on. Oh. Oh. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you got a little oh, bit less. <laughs> sprint by default. Uh, no, sprint by default is off. That's what I'm seeing on your. You've opened doors on. Controller auto run is on, but go ahead and scroll up a little bit more. I put sprint by default on too. I don't know if that's going to be different, but there's no harm in having both of them on. Just to make sure. Yeah, just turn that on too, sprint by default. Oh, there it is. Okay. That way if you do switch to your PC, you're already where you need to be. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, the goal will be to get through this and be able to just do it in one fluid motion. So if you really want to get better, I do recommend at least trying to do this every day, um, just for a little bit, because it's going to be... Oh, also, <laughs> you'll notice I'm moving back and forth a lot. I don't stand still. Um, I'm just like used to like moving, because you don't ever want to stand still. So um, you're going to edit these in half walls. Mm -hmm. uh, so go ahead and just... Take as much time as you need, but we'll wait till we get to the ranch. But go ahead and edit in half walls. Oh, I miss it. It's okay. Just correct it. Nope. Come back out. Come back here. Come all the way back to the start. Anytime that you mess up the course, what you're going to do, and it's going to be annoying at first, say, like, I accidentally made a door, then I have to reset the wall and do it again. So until, until you can fix it, you're going to reset the wall. I do a half wall. If you make the half wall, we'll move through to the next one. If not, if it's a door, we reset it. I am like, okay. Take your time. <laughs> Honestly, you should have seen me the first time I was doing this. I was stumbling so bad. I've never really known how to practice at it, so. Yeah, this is a good way to practice it, right? Um, okay, so then once we're here. Yeah, you got this one down. Okay, and once you get to the top, you then go down it and reset it on the way down so you're practicing your resets. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. And then you go back through, and as you're backing through, try and pa practice your resets while passing through. Um. So there's all these, like, the reason why I suggest doing this is there's all these sort of practice edit courses out there, and they're great, but they're not great if you're just starting out, right? They can seem very overwhelming. There's so many things to do. You don't know how to get through it. It's, like, overwhelming for me. This is simple, and it's the two most common edits you're going to have to make, right? The two yeah. most common edits you're going to have to make is to get through a wall and get up a ramp. Those are the two most common things you're going to have to do. So if you can get through these fast, 
at a running motion, you're already going to be way better off than the majority of players. So let's try and have you do it again. Ah. Oh. So, yeah. Oh, oh, no. Reset it. Yep. <laughs> and come back here. Uh, you're editing. Once you get to the wall, you can actually edit when you're like halfway through that. Did you see where I was when I started editing? Mm -hmm. You wait till you get right here, and you can actually you can edit by the time you're here, where you can edit. See, I'm I'm on the first block of this still. I'm within the edit range, so you want to be editing much faster. Okay, go ahead. Yep. Ah, uh, I missed it. It's all right. Yeah. You can edit already. So by the time you get through that first one, you can almost. Oh, oh. good. It's all right. We missed that, that one's one. already there. Good. Good. Oh, I hit it, and then okay. I, okay. I didn't. There we go. Good. And then go back down and reset as you're going. Sorry. There you go. up it takes like what a minute and a half two minutes to build it yourself i actually have it saved in metal in my creative map so i just go in and i put the wood pieces that i want to edit and so have it already running yeah um, so you can go into your own creative map and actually set it up so it's already ready for you each day and then you just go through and just you know practice your edits practice your edits mm -hmm. practice your edits and it's one thing i noticed too i like to hit the corner first so it makes it hard like I'm, oh. it's like I'm trying to hit right up on the middle there, but I hit yeah. the corner, so then I have to go back to it. Yeah. And I think you'll notice things right away, and you'll be able to correct a lot of this like on your own. And so I think that's like an edit sort of course you can do right away. The other thing I just want to talk to you about real quick while we're talking about edits is maybe just talking about like the most common builds that you'll make mm -hmm. uh, while moving towards people. So you're good with your floor ramp, um, so you're doing that right. Uh, the one thing I would point out right away is that while you're floor ramping, you're exposed and vulnerable. So like when I was there, here, wait, stay there. When I was like above you and you're like, okay, I'm gonna floor ramp. First of all, I need to be ground. It's shitty. Yeah, it really makes it hard when it's not flat ground. Yeah. Um, especially just to try and show you something. So. If you were right there, what you had done is you put this floor ramp, but really, before I did that, what I should have done is gone there, right? Because then I got a mm -hmm. full blockage of you. Do you yeah, because it could have easily then, gone right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. And so, like, I mean, for me, because I'm on mouse and keyboard, it's easy for me. I know you can do it on my competitive duo partner. It's actually on Xbox and on so I would do it that. And let's just, do you know how, oh. how to do a 90? No, that's one oh, of the wait, things wait. I don't know. Come back under here. If you're stuck under here, take your time. If you're stuck under here, rather than just jumping out, what should you have done? Edited. You could edit or, look, you can do this. Right? Just ramp out. Mm -hmm. You don't want to. You jumping out gave up your high ground, and this would make it so you didn't give up your high ground. Honestly, if I got stuck under a ramp, here, let's just get ourselves stuck under the ramp. If I got stuck under this ramp, what I would probably do, my move would be this, because now I can just like edit through, and I'm like getting myself up. Did you see what I did? Mm -hmm. Let's just talk about what I did one more time. This, even if you're not comfortable. So you did a uh, ramp, and then you did a uh, floor. Yep. But before I, yeah, the first thing I did was I put a floor above us. Mm -hmm. you see that? Yeah. Because what that lets me do is I can do this ramp, but I also can do this. Have you done this before? Yeah. 
Because what that's doing is if the person's above you, and I assume they're above you, that's why you're building that way, got coverage above you while you're ramping up. I was saying you should build right, in the sky to help with the whole ground not ground being try, try doing a little bit of that one more time. Alright, so like, how are you on mats? Are you good? I'm at like... I can't tell, it's so small. Okay, so go ahead and make your HUD a little bit bigger. You can make your HUD a little bit bigger, right? It needs to be readable still. You want it to be, you're at 559, but uh, it needs to still be readable to you, but you want it just readable, right? Just enough. So make it as big as, as you need to read it, but not so big that it's taking up your whole. Uh, Storm Rain said you should build in the sky to help with the whole ground on being flat. True, Storm Rain, we could do that. Yeah, try like 80, 90, something like that. Just see if that's readable for you. Is that better? I didn't, I didn't set it. <laughs> that's okay. It's, it's just about adjusting it to a size that, that works for you. That's not too small. I'm actually going to read because I just. This wouldn't have even been a problem if I had a bigger screen. Yeah. Too. Like it's hard to read it at what it was at, so. Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Well, you gotta do what you're comfortable with, and hopefully <laughs> you get a bigger screen so you can make it even smaller. Because again, it's about like maximizing your view range for for actually fighting. Okay, so yeah. let's um let's see you build on 90, or do you know how, or do you want no, me to walk? No, I don't. I don't. I don't know how at all. Okay, so let's just walk you through like a uh, a simple like rather than like talking about playground cranking 90s, let's just talk about a 90 that you might actually do while fighting someone, right? Mm -hmm. So. First thing is first, you're probably going to end up starting by ramping. And here, come with me. Walk with me for this. Um, when I'm making a 90, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go wall, 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 floor, ramp. So four walls and then a floor and a ramp. Yep. That is going to the, be the most secure 90 that you're going to get. So wall, 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 floor, ramp. Wall, 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 floor, ramp. And then it's just over and over again. Floor, ramp. Okay, close. You want your ramp facing the wall that you just built. But that was, that was a good first try. Let's have you do it again. Good. And keep going. So now repeat. Up. Oh, oh, here you're gonna turn. So that's what makes it a 90. Here, come back down with me. So we go wall, 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 floor ramp, and then wall, 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 floor ramp. So I'm turning 90 degrees. That's what makes it a 90. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So I'm turning 90 degrees. In this case, I'm going to my right. Wall, 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 floor, ramp, and now towards me. No, 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 no. We're gonna, we're gonna do it nice and slow. It's all right. We're gonna do it nice and slow. We're gonna do it one at a time, and then you'll get work on getting faster. Let's just work on putting in the right spots. Okay. Nope. Okay. Now, no, that's fine. It's fine. Get on top of the ramp. Edit and get on top. Or go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead and ramp out. Do the ramp out thing. If I don't fall. That's okay. <laughs> Okay, let's start at the 90 again. Come over here. Yeah. I'll give you massive PD. Do it again. Right here. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Now turn towards me. That's where your next wall's gonna go. There, okay. Because that's the direction you're going. So I don't do this one here. I mean, you can. You can. Your ramp, your next one's going to face me, right? So here, uh, watch again. Wall, 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 floor ramp. Wall, 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 floor ramp. Wall, 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 floor ramp. Does that make sense? Can you let I'm mom know that I'm right. going to go watch you some YouTube your right and play some one. games so now, please? I go wall, 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 floor ramp. Yeah. Wall, 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 floor ramp. 
And what you'll find is when you're doing it fast enough, you're not even going to have to jump. The ramp is going to jump you automatically. Mm-hmm. Uh, Star said that she's going to go watch some YouTube and play <laughs> some games now. All right, see you later, Star. <laughs> I'll see you at 6. All right, let's see you do another 90. Okay, so... If it plays, there it goes. Four, ramp. So then and I turn right, up. place a wall oh, here. No, keep doing the, go to the top of your ramp and yeah. put a wall near me. Yeah. And then now turn to your right and put a wall. And down for a wall. Floor, ramp. Okay, so that's the part I'm confused on, so... Oop, didn't mean to do that. So, I would do this, I'd do the... These walls, I do the floor, then I do the I'm ramp. ramp. I'm out of mats. It's alright, here, here's 600. Okay, let's build it next to each other, we'll do it together, okay? Here, come down here. Okay, so you just, uh, you just be right next to me, for yours. Go ahead and place your ramp and I'll just go next to you. Okay. So I'm gonna do my ramp here so we can watch each other. And we'll walk through it together, okay, right? Mm-hmm. Wall. Wall. Yep, yeah, wall, wall, floor, ramp. Now, now, yeah. Yeah, you're basically okay. doing it. So just so one you're... forward, so I like, at this stage you're I would do a wall. Yourself. Yeah. And then another wall. wall. Yep, perfect. Because the goal is to always protect in front of you, right? And so mm -hmm. I'm protecting myself, protecting myself, protecting myself. And that's a 90. That's all it is. Ah. It's a little wasteful, but it's <laughs> still getting there. <laughs> you hell yeah you're getting these fast oh good job <laughs> okay that makes more sense all right come up to me good because now, you see, like, if I was an enemy, you were protecting yourself. Oh, but wait, 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 let's talk about this for a second. Come here, because that was so good up until that point. What you do at this point, what do you think you do at this point? You do a 90. Right? You come out of it mm -hmm. with a 90. Right? So, that's why, like, 90 is like a... Everyone's always talking about cranking 90s, right? And the whole idea, it's because you end up using it as a defensive position. So, like, if you were coming up like you were... And you were smart. I was above you, right? You were. I was above you, so you're like, oh, I'm going to double ramp. So you immediately were doing the right thing. But when you got to here, because you wanted to overtake me, you could either do the 90. So that way, when you came up, you were immediately covered by your ramp. Here, come and stand here. Come and stand up here like you're my enemy. So you can see why. Okay, so if you were my enemy, go ahead and go to the top of the ramp real quick, just so you can see. Um, if if I just did what you did before, mm -hmm. you just went like that, I would get shot as soon as I popped up, right? Mm -hmm. So instead, you do the 90, because the movement is so quick. I, I got myself under the ramp, but in that case, the movement was so quick, I put a wall in front of you and then a ramp, right? And now I've taken high ground again. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um. Personally, I don't know that I would have 90 there. Um, there I might have... If I knew you were right above me... Well, if I knew you were right above me, I wouldn't have stopped my double ramp yet. Um, or I might have just done this and just immediately gone the wall and then done a ramp rather than a full 90 just because I didn't... I wouldn't want to waste time. It's about, it's about constantly blocking your opponent. Mm -hmm. So even when you're in a gunfight, I don't know if you realize, but what you should be doing in a gunfight is like shoot, build, right? Shoot, build. Um, and so following it up with that build so you can't get the counter shot is important. 
that that makes sense. I mean, you're catching on to these things really quick. I feel like oh. you're gonna do great. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Parkour was not that good. <laughs> So do you want to actually do a game, or do you want to practice builds more? You want to? We haven't done anything with aiming. We could talk about aiming. We could talk about loadout. There's still a lot of stuff to be done, but you know, I want to be cognizant of your enjoyment as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can we can hop in a game. Okay, so we'll we'll go try a game. Let's leave play playground. wanted to you want to try and drop at salty since it's your favorite spot or yeah we can okay so how long have you been doing this fiver uh a couple of months a couple of months i am um, i originally did just because like i wanted to when I started to get good, I wanted to feel like I was sharing that with people. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Because uh, I used to be trash. <laughs> like, beyond trash. Like, really, really bad. I was playing on a laptop with, like, a touchpad. Like, it was. My, <laughs> this is my first ever uh, real game other than Minecraft. <laughs> like, so... You know, I I had no idea what I was doing. I'd never played a shooter game before. I was bad. I was like, I was the ultimate bot. Um, that was me like I've... a few minutes ago. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I was like way worse than that, man. Like way worse, way way worse. Um, and so I uh, I started to get really good, and I learned a lot of things. Like you know. The different settings, like how to build, just like what loadouts, where you should shoot guns, what guns you should carry, like just like a lot of things that just really upped my gameplay. Mm -hmm. And so um, I just wanted to help others because <laughs> I was like, you know, I wish there was someone there for me rather than me having to struggle, like to show me how to do this and explain what I was doing wrong. And there was just a lot of things like my view distance was set to like here, and like I couldn't, I didn't even understand like when people. Or like peeking for right on a ramp. Um, like I wasn't able to like sort of figure out like I'll let you have the guns. Oh, and I missed the house. That's okay. Um here you can have this gun. So at this one I already have an AR, so all I'm really focused on is um getting mats. I have a weapon. So my goal is mass, mass, mass. I'll go down here so you can get that drop over there if you want. If it's in there. No shield. We need to rotate somewhere better. I have, actually one, I have three minis on me, so... Oh, drink them. Drink them now. And drop me one. Yeah. Yeah, immediately with the shield. The only time I'll wait on shield is like, oh, come on. Is if, like, I know that I need to, um, you can carry the bandies, I don't care. If I know that I need to rush someone right away and it's not worth waiting for the shield. So I'm actually not going out the front door, I'm going out the back door. Because if people landed, they probably landed near Blue House, and that 
walk inside and go in the trap. Yeah, there's people fighting right now, but I need more shields. Let's do the house. There's an AK here if you need one still. Okay, there was a med kit here too. I have an AK already. Okay. still don't have a shotgun, which is an ideal, but... I don't either. That's okay. We just got landed on. Where are they? On the me. There's on one on me. He doesn't have a gun. Okay. <laughs> Great. I think he boxed himself in other... Oh no. Nice, good job. Can you see him yet? On me. Okay. Raw. There's two of them. One's right, right above me and one's right on that build. Yeah, give me a second. I knocked one. Him to come down. How about that? So I'm not pushing up on him because I just simply don't have enough mats to overtake his high ground. Mm hmm. Oh, found his friend. Great. Did you have a shotgun for me? Oh, nope. Not back to the <laughs> He'd rush down because the other guys were pushing with the nades. Yeah. I didn't even know where he came from. There was one guy on the roof. I saw him. I built up. And then I got high ground on him. And all of a sudden, this guy was directly on me. Yeah. <laughs> it was still good. It was good. You you did well on the first one. You knocked out the one guy easy. Yeah. What's your Twitch? Ah, uh, it's just my name. Okay. So if you want to land the blue house, we can land the blue house. Um, Try, we can try landing at one of your ideal locations. Because I don't want you to feel like you have to <laughs> you have to do my land. No, that's fine. I don't really have a specific spot I land, I just land. Sometimes, like, if I'm, like, if I'm shorter, like, if there's, like, if we're doing squads and there's only, like, three of us and there's four people that land on one house, I won't land there, obviously. Yeah, I mean, being able to be flexible is good, but also having some rotation set and like an idea of like, this is what I do and this is where I move is also really good too. Um, and then, you know, you can have alternate paths, but um, yeah, I spend like, I spend some time at the start of each season going in the playground and just seeing how many drops change. Cause uh, for the most part, playground will have most of the drops there and most of the chest bumps there. Let's not go to Salty this time because it's the mm -hmm. hot drop. Try something else. Um, is there anywhere else you like to drop? Uh, not in particular. I'll drop okay. anywhere. Let me let me give you another hot drop. Uh, so the, I call this Pueblo. Some people call it Westworld, Mexico, etc. Yeah, I call um, it Mexico. Oh, okay. 
Uh, so this tends to be hot because it was like a place favored by, I guess, TPU a while ago. And so um, a lot of people still drop there. It also has a lot of uh, spawns and a lot of chests. Mm -hmm. uh, so you still normally get like a team or two here. So it's not going to be as hot as salty, but well, sometimes it is. So you can still get into fights right away if that is your goal. <laughs> um, and if you drop salty, I'm guessing that's your goal. Uh, but it gives you another option. I think the reason why I like to drop in places where people drop a lot is because it's just, it's one of those where it builds me up to where I'm like used to being in a battle. Yeah, but oh, there's Okay, yep. Being used to being in a battle isn't necessarily like a good thing. You should be used to being in battles, but you should be taking, taking strategic battles. Like, you want to take the fights that are advantageous fighting every single time. I think like people like see like for instance my KD is not crazy. This season my KD is much higher than it had been, but my win percentage is incredibly high. Uh, my win percentage is something between 20 to 25 percent. But my KD this season is fluctuating between three to five. There's a guy so he not... landed over here somewhere. Great. I hear him up here. Oh, okay, so they tried to rip us, so I'm just seeing where they're going, what they're doing. Yep. They went immediately back down. Yay. That's he what I'm gonna do too. Yeah, he's waiting. One guy went to the right, and then one guy went to the right here. Okay, I'm, I'm landing on him. But I'm out of mat. Do you know where his friend is? Uh, no. Okay, okay. He dropped down over here by where that sink bomb was. Uh, I'm out of mats. Where's he at? Uh, he's north. He's north. He's got a nice shotgun too, so careful. Oh, I see him, I see him. Where, where? Give me a call. Right in front of me. Right by you, below you. Got oh, him. I ran out of mats, of course. Okay. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now we need kills. Okay, so let me tell you my loadout right now. I've got a shotgun, a pistol, an AK. That is closer to an ideal loadout for me. I like to have a shotgun. I like to have a spam weapon. I have, like to have a long distance weapon. So, um, shotgun gives me that close up contact. Uh, pistol is what I'm using right now for a spam because I don't have anything better. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, the AK for long distance. Uh, I'd prefer an AR, but I'm going to work with the AK. Yeah, I've got a silenced pistol. I've got a green AK. I've got a green, whatever you call this. It's a. <laughs> Flint, 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 I don't knock. know. Flint, flint knock, knock yeah. yeah. And then I've got the gray tack and six impulses. Okay, cool. Yeah, I like to have like only, personally, I like only three weapons. Um, and then like uh, my other two slots, I like to have a utility and a heal. Yeah, that's mostly just because of the auto pickup. Yeah, which is nice. Is it not nice? Do you like it yet? <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty nice. It got it's a little weird though. Full right away. Yeah. yeah. You'll get used to it. You'll get used to it. And then it's just a matter of switching things out. Oh, I thought it's not minis. They have minis. Oh, they have minis. Yeah, here's a mini. Actually, um, here you drink this mini. Cause then if I do this slurp, I'll be full. It's right here. You know how to mark things? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. So we got circle, which is nice. Let's uh, let's push the gas station. Oh, there was only one mini there. Yeah, only one, sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine, I just impulsed myself. There's a chest over here, so. 
Okay, go ahead and get it, and then I'm pushing to gas station. It should be fine. There shouldn't be anyone pushing. And uh, I'm like always like, whenever I'm running or moving, I'm trying to make sure that my guns are reloaded, especially if I've just ended a fight and I pick something up off someone. Cav okay, got band aids. Nice. Yeah, I'm holding one of those, so I'll give you mine. Do you do Twitch at all, or only YouTube? Um, I oh, thought of people here, people on me. Hey, okay, I'm coming. Me. I'm coming. So I heard them, I immediately took high ground. Yep, I see him. I knocked the one, his friends to the west. Found his friend. Okay, got him both. All right, nice. Uh. You can take any of that, I don't care, I just want the drum gun. I'm gonna take the storm flip since you're carrying bandages. And you'll see I'm constantly moving again even when I'm just reloading my weapons right now, right? Mm -hmm. Here's this bandage, if you want to carry it for us. And if you're not carrying minis, I will. Yeah, I've got a med kit and then the bandies, so... Awesome. Okay, so right now I just want to get coconuts, because I want to get to full. Um, so I'm hitting down these trees. I want my health nice. These people came from Lucky, so Lucky will already be done. Here, we'll go get these trees then. Those poor Jonesies didn't know what... They were just bunker Jonesies off in the wild together. <laughs> Feel kind of bad. Alright, so I'm gonna grab these minis that are over here. And if you've got a if you've got a lock on someone you want me to pull off and let you get the kill, I'm more than happy to let you <laughs> Just let me know. Don't let me steal kills from you. See, so like, right now I already have four kills, um, and so it's not going to be a crazy high kill game, but that's okay, like, we've still seen action, and we're setting ourselves up for, um, some placement. Yeah. We will have to start moving soon. Uh, I just want to get you to full shield, though, so if we can get you eating some more coconuts. There's two behind you. That tree. Got another one here, but it's in the water. Here, I'll mark it the best I can. Another one here. Another two here. And we've really got to move. Okay, where'd this coconut go? It fell in the water somewhere. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just get more. Here, we'll just get <laughs> these trees. Two here. There's another one. How are you on materials? Are you doing okay? I'm doing pretty good. I'm like 374, I think. I think that's what it okay. is. So when we're playing, um, I, we're gonna play again. <laughs> I like to, uh, for my materials, I like to just call out the first number. So like I have 732, I have 700 wood, 391 brick, 287 metals, but I would just say 732 have an assessment real quick about where we're at. Um, so that's actually, that's closer to what you want to be at. At about this point in the game, if we get you up to where you should be building, you want to have at least a thousand mats. Mm -hmm. So you've what, 300? 300 and something. Yeah, so it's like 47 maybe? I, it's, it's small, but it's yeah. the screen, so. Yeah, that's fine. 
Uh, so let's just take some time over here and get you some more glass then. And actually, I'm gonna split you my wood because um, I'm gonna get wood pretty quick. So if you'll just go ahead and take that, that'll help you out. Yep. So there are old builds here. Uh, and we are close to circle. We do want to be careful of the corn. People don't really hide in there as much anymore, but we want to be careful. Okay, I'm max wood, so I'm just dropping Great. wood back there. Oh, I'll go grab wood. You were max. But right back here. We're okay. I see him. So, oh, there's someone to the north. A team to the north. A team to the north. They see us. So I tried to get a shot on them when I failed. I immediately built. Uh, they're fairly good. They're pretty good. We're actually gonna we're gonna pull back and go around the barn instead. Go go west, west through the barn instead. Uh, we did that because it saved us mats. We were able to move over here. <laughs> yep, we're just building and moving, building and moving. They're good, we don't want... They've got the drop on us right now, so we want to be in a d better tactical position, which we're not right now, so... Uh, we're gonna go grass here. We're just gonna keep using land cover. Um, so I'm just doing back building cover our butts uh, and just continuing to move good see and then I got us behind this hill ideally we're gonna go right on over to these wind tunnels we're gonna take the high ground now they can't shoot us again because of the hills um, where we're good to go they're only gonna be able to shoot us when we hit into this so we're gonna do this very quickly okay mm -hmm. go up and then onto grandma's hill And now while they come this way, we'll be able to shoot at them. So they're in the wind tunnel. So I'm trying to shoot at them when I can. He's about to touch ground here. Mm -hmm. His friend's over there though. Hit him. Nice. Oh. Be careful. I'm a meta real quick. Okay. I've got minis if you need them. Okay. Yeah, they're having to bunker down, which is advantageous to us actually. The one guy's trying to wait and snipe us, so I'm just gonna get his friend instead. Okay, we're gonna pull back because of where Storm is. Mm -hmm. So we tried to do pop shots on them. Let's move. Oh, I've got minis for you. We'll take them behind this house here. Here you go. Okay, we want to go. As soon as you take both of those. Okay, let's go. Yep. Very good. So now we're just going to go straight to circle. I just wanted to lose them, which was the point of going back that way. Oh, getting we didn't shot at. Lose them completely. Yep. Just keep building. Right this way. Yeah, they're fighting someone else, so we should be able to get in. Yeah, yep. Yeah. We're gonna probably third party this. Get ready for a fight, because they're gonna be weak. Knocked one. Finishing him. Come take their shit. <gasps> I fell down the hill. I won't be on you for a second. You've got this. Stay calm. You've got it. I've got this. Oh, sorry, sorry. There was another guy bowing, and so I just. Oh. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. I've got you. I'm 
I'm sticking it. You're fine. I'm gonna drop you minis. We're gonna pull out. Okay. I've got bandies still too. So. Oh, they put storm down. We gotta move. Just move with me. Move with me. Just move with me. Just stay moving with me. Ah! That was still good. That was. That was good. That was a really good game. It was a really good game. You did really well. That guy had 10 kills. I got him down to. Oh my gosh, he had four health. He had four <laughs> health. Is that what that says? I think it says four. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> So close, so close. That was good. That was pretty close, we were there. Yeah, no, that was really good. And you did really well, you held your own, you moved, you stayed with me, you did well. Do you have your edits on Circle? Uh, what? Your edits, for build edits, where is it? Is it on your Circle, or what is it on? Um, I have no idea, I don't know. I don't even know what you're saying, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, your build edits on your controller, where is yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, they're my triggers and bumpers. Okay, okay, good. Because I asked, because uh, my duo partner, he plays on controller, and, you know, I, your editing was speeding up, but I just want to make sure you had it right. Yeah, and I have it on Builder on... Pro, so. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, and he has his on L3, which helps. Yeah, I like Builder Pro because I can use four fingers at once instead of trying to find buttons and all that yeah okay so um let's uh let's try a little softer of a drop D dusty is middle so it won't be as hard as salty but it will now let's try and drop the diner itself so we'll probably get in a fight right away yeah. that was a really good game that was a really solid game he got me <laughs> right through that little hole where you I didn't know, have the wall quite built. We I tried jumping jump over it. Man. <laughs> I tried jumping I over that hole. He was at four health. Yeah. That was such a good game. And you could have got that other dude, the soccer player. I'm confident you could have got the soccer skin. Um, yeah, that one guy, I had him for sure. I didn't realize you were landing there. Um, but that auto pickup, had you like touched the ground at the same time as me, would have given it to you if I didn't have auto pickup on. Sorry, I hit my. We're fine. There's no one here. I shot on accident. There's people in the divot though. So I like to land above the divot because it gives me high ground right away. Yeah. So if there's I've got a down. green Tommy gun. Nice. Freaking love Tommy guns. <laughs> Yeah, Tommy guns are my ideal spam weapon. I've got two minis for you. Okay. I'm dropping them right here. Or actually, I'll carry them on me until I get to you. Okay, so as soon as you um, drink these minis, we'll actually go ahead and push the divot. Here, they're right here, next to this mic if you're able to carry it. You have a shotgun yet? There's a great tack in here if you don't. I don't. Where is it at? It's in the right in here. Alright, let's go down. I just don't want to lose the drop on these people because they just got out of a fight. I don't want to give them too long to heal. Okay, they're to the southwest. I saw a tree drop. See it again? Sam, yep. Um, don't actually break anything. Yep. We don't want them. To... Oh, they got a shot on me. Okay. Be rough. Oh. Oh. 
I took a lot of his health. All right, just tell me where he is. There's one right by the stairs down below, and then there, he's in that building oh. right be behind you. Yep, okay. Um, so at this point, I'm actually going to withdraw. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use the jump pad and try and pull out, because I have no mats. It didn't work. There was trees. There was trees. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again. We'll do one more. That's fine. Yeah, I went behind that tree, and then I pop shot him as soon as he b shot it down. Oh. He stopped shooting at me, but the other guy got me. <laughs> Yeah, they unfortunately got the drop on us. I was hoping to sneak up on them without them seeing us. Yeah. Um, but it just didn't work out. This is a pretty dope skin. Yours? Yeah. Yeah. It's neat. I tend to like the female skins better. <laughs> I don't think I... There's like only like one or two male skins that I'll wear. Pretty good yeah. to the female one. Let's try Shifty Chass for our last game. Okay. This way we can do slow-paced fights and hopefully we'll pick all the fights rather than have them picked on us. Do you ever land shifty? Uh, yeah. I tend to do that when I'm in, like, squads. Ooh, that's interesting. So shifty's not a great place for squads because, um, there's not enough real loot for squads. Uh, shifty's a great place for duos and solos. Uh, it's not a place I would normally take a squad to. I take my squads there just because I like shifty, and so they have to put up with it, but generally if I'm playing squads, I, I try and go places that have a bit more loot. Yeah, I like going shifty for squads because it's like not too many people will land there. And there's there's yeah. a pretty good amount of loot there, so. Yeah. So we've got one other team here, so as I'm landing I look around, right? I'm trying yeah. to assess the situation. There's that guy who landed over there to the southwest. I have attack, so I'm immediately pushing him. Okay, I don't have right, anything I, yet. My goal is I to got get a big get pot. Okay, I got a chest in the truck here. Got him? Great. His friend's coming. I need help over here. Okay, I'm getting... Oh, God, I... I got two big pots and one gray egg. Okay. Oh, he's like, you gotta move over here, man. He's one tap. On me. He's one tap. You could literally sneeze on him. You gotta move to him. Right to your left. Yep, go right that way. Honestly, you hit one sh shot; it should kill him. His friend is to your right, to your right, to your right. Sounds see him. right. I see him. Yep, his friend's up. So, um, the wolf will only be thirty health. Oh. Uh. We'll try again. We'll do it one more time. Yeah. So generally, when I make the call that I need help, you gotta start moving that that way right away, right? Like, uh, yeah. Set. Definitely need you. I just didn't have any guns, so I had to get a gun. Oh, uh, okay. My room smells so bad right now. I got this fish tank in here and the filter's broken on it. Yeah. And I just, I was cleaning everything out in it today and it smells so bad because it's so stagnant. Oh. It's so bad. What type of fish? Right now there's just an Oscar in it because he's killed everything else I put with it. Oh wow. Yeah. 
I used to have like some plecos, and then I had like some other fish I don't remember. Alright, since Salty's your place, we'll do Salty for our last one. So we've got like three duos. Okay, I got another person in my house. Going for the chest. I've got another. There's another person in here with me. Got him. There's a guy on me with a minigun. Okay. I need some health. Fuck. Again, he's one tap. He's got like 15 health. Okay, I'm gonna heal up real quick. Should have cleared out of the house by now. You should be good to get my card. Oh, nope. apparently not. <laughs> He's on the roof. <laughs> I don't know why he was still at that house. That house was looted. There was no reason for him to still be there. Yeah. So the big things I'd say is, you know, adjust your, um, adjust your HUD scale to be a size that you can read. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said you can read it right now. Uh, but, you know, you want it as small as possible, but, but you can still read it. Um, I would suggest going through those edit uh, practices, even if it's just like, you know, running through just those, those walls and the, and the roofs, so that way, um, move through floors and walls quickly. Your 90s were looking good right away, so just getting it down faster and faster, right? And so I think a lot mm -hmm. of this is just the best speed of getting, getting it into you. But you're doing good. Uh, I, you know, if you can improve those for the next time we play, um, we can move on to some other things. Yeah. Awareness of that, but I think that the stuff, if you do that, it's already going to make a difference for you. And I already saw you using some of it, right? Like you were like double ramping out of some stuff, like you were doing good. So I think your gameplay is gonna like greatly enhance. And you're a decent player, you know, you're a good player. You are you told me like you were like a bot, you're not a bot. I feel <laughs> like I am bots. though. <laughs> you're not, you're not, you're not a bot. There's definitely things that you can improve on. And so I think, you know, you're doing the right thing, practicing and trying to work on it, but um, you're definitely not a bot. You're, you're I, I think you can be pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope I'll see you around later. You're welcome to come in my streams and play with me there, or, you know, if you're on and I'm on. Um, yeah. But I hope you have a nice rest of your day. You too. I see you later. See you later. I think that's gonna be it for this stream if anybody's watching this so like it up and subscribe if you haven't